It is for the WBA Oriental and WBA Oceania Middleweight titles collectively. It is brought to you by Oxmar Properties. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He etches the ring wearing black trunks with orange trim. He weighed in at a stealth 72.2 kgs. He hails from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. He is trained by renowned Australian trainer and coach, Glenn Rushton. He has 22 professional fights with 19 wins, two losses, one draw, with 13 big wins coming by way of KO. He is the former WBO welterweight champion of the world, introducing the challenger, Jeff the Hornet. Fighting into the red corner, enters the ring wearing red trunks with white trim. He went in at 72.55 kgs, hailing from Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. He is trained by renowned Australian trainer and coach Sam Labruda and Blake Caffarel with Team Labruda. He has 30 professional fights with 27 wins, 3 losses, 16 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning, defending WBO Oriental and WBA Oceania middleweight champion. This is Michael Pretty Boy Zarafa! <laughs> Find us in the center ring, please, for John Couchy's instructions. Okay, boys, you both heard the rules in the dressing room. Obey them all the time. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, let's get them on, mate. Come on. One more time, Brisbane, Australia! Make some noise! There's been so many words, and there are so many questions, but there is just one left to answer. Repeat, or revenge. Zarafa, Ben Damon here in the commentary again. Alongside It's a good go, shot of him with the left Come hand that got through from a very aggressive Jeff Roy. Definitely a very aggressive Jeff Roy. He wants to make a statement in this opening round. He wants to hurt Michael Zarafa in the opening round. So we know he needs to do that. There's that big right hand too, and Zarafa just trying to shift his way into that rhythm of Stop. Jeff Roy. He's Stop. coming forward. With intent. He's got to watch the right hand of Michael Zarafa as he's coming in. Nice little jab from Jeff Horn there. Horn uses that move and goes in and out and back in. Zarafa just trying to find him, trying to get that jab out. Horn's got to be there. Watch your head! Watch your head when you're coming in, come the boys. Head come on. With the bad eye lacerations that he's had, Jeff Horn, it's a real worry for me. It's always a concern in Jeff Horn fights, but at this stage, he's managing to get through and score with some big shots. Yeah. The early stages of this one, the movement patterns, the same movement patterns we saw a minute ago. Oh, 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 oh. The rapper, the rapper looking calm in the air. Yeah, the only out hard. Right, my right! Right! That's a right! Jeff Horn tried the Come overhand on, right. Go. The rapper's seen that a million times. Good job from the rapper there. Oh, Stays away, uses his feet as one comes towards. Good shot. Left hand from Horn again. To the body he goes, and over the top. Good shot from Jeff Horn. Manhandles Michael Zarrata. Good shot, guys. Keep the train, mate. Come on, let's go. Come on. Jeff Horn oh, has a cut already. Oh, that's what I was worried about. But a good guy Headlash. It's from a head clash, according to our referee, John Couchy. Right, boys. Right. It's not in a bad spot. Well, it's not in a great spot, but it could be worse. But it's not what we wanted. Jeff Horn putting touches together well, man. It's a good clean shot, winning this round clearly against 
Hudson's a rapper who, to me... Big shots from Horn as he steps in again. They just right. race by... Let him go, let him go! 20 seconds left in the first round. A big round for Jeff Horn. Oh, big good uppercut. Go the hell! Big punch. punch away, boys. First big shot of this fight is an uppercut as Horn came towards him. Set it up. Hey, don't let this bouncy stuff fight, 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 f
Good, relax. Patience, hey, making it past that long jab. Keep turning, stay tight, tuck the chin. He's already tired. All right, Mick? Yeah. We got this, huh? Yeah. Good, listen to me. Stay tight on the defense. Yeah. Turn him. Start bringing in the right hooks and right overhands. Yeah. You'll see it. Yeah. All right? Tighten that defense. We're not going to get sloppy, Mick. Tighten that defense. One more big breath. One more big breath. Oh, wow. Patience from Michael Zoran for two rounds that we would expect to go against them. Now I say... I think it's a good move. He needs to remain calm for the time being, Zoran, I think. Let Jeff Horn, you know, throw whatever he can to the face that, that opportunity to land his big shots, Zoran. A bit like he did in the first fight, but he's, he has lost his two rounds down, Zoran. Maybe there was no cut over that right thigh. Maybe it was the blood like that left. Don't hold it, Don't hold it, Otherwise, he's done an outstanding right. job with it. But the cut over the left side is prominent. Horn continues to push the pace here in Brisbane. There's a right hand punch in there from Zarafa. Don't go straight back. I mean, go off. That was a big moment. That was a big left hook. That is a big moment. That is a big moment. His best punch of this fight so far, no doubt. Now, go hit behind the back. Keep it clean. Come on, you're doing all right. Come on. The pattern of the fight. The first two were definitely on. Here we go with round four between Jeff Horn and Michael Zarafa. Two clear horn rounds to start. A close round, round three. Zarafa backs away and time's better now. 
Every time we're throwing, we're catching him. They're worried about the right hand. We've got to bring it. Mick, tighten up on defense, yeah? yeah. Keep that, making it past that long jab. Good work. Hey, not single shot. Let's get some combos. Hey, I like those hard body shots, mate. Beautiful. Deep breaths. I can't learn. Hey? Good nah, mate. Hey. Jeff Horn Mick. there. Both fighters Listen. had success that this. round with good clean good shots. Yes, Mick. Hey, let's be patient, let's get him. The right hand's landing. The rapper's corner, tell him to throw the right hand. Not exactly sure what Michael Zarafa said there in the corner, but it did sound like he's not completely happy with how things are going here tactically. Yeah, well, he's, you know, undoubtedly in the right hand. This is looking down on the scorecard. Break, boys, break! It's only early doors yet. This is round five of ten, and Jack Horn continues to push the pace, and it's already clear he's in better condition than what he was in Bendigo. He's sure. been charging forward and on his toes throughout. And if he slows down, Let's go, he knows stop, stop. what is coming from. Don't hit behind the head! Yeah. I'm not, I've got to deduct the point of you. I can't get the free. So much energy, punching behind the back of the head. Punching. Oh, Jack is working beautifully. Is that, is that unorthodox yet, Paul? The way he moves. Jabs again. Interestingly, there's no jab from Mark as a rap. Yeah, you'd think as a rap for him. He'll try to get it out there. Get the jab going, set the right hand. Right, boys! And that's what the corner are telling him. He's just struggling to time this more energetic motion. Yes, yes. He 
was able to do with such authority at stages in Bendigo. Yes. I'm sorry, I'll clean it up, you get the vassal. Deep Downhill, breaths. brother. Downhill. Just got to stay disciplined here. Discipline all the way, remember. Keep sliding. Don't try. If you want to, if you want to come in slower, you've got to go breaths. down, up, remember. Deep You've breaths, got to cover tight if you're going to. Okay? While you're doing what you're doing, it's working great. Just moving sideways, feigning, you're, you're winning every bloody round. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Don't try to get closer, though. Don't try to get closer. Stay where you are. If you need to take two steps, drop, cover, and up. Yeah. Rip or hook. Body, body head, body head, body head. Keep moving. Yeah. Certainly a bloody battle so far, Ben. And the official ruling from referee John Couchy is Mark. that the cut to Michael Zarafa's eye is from a clash of heads also. So both of these cuts have been ruled to have been head clashes. Zarafa. Comes out firing. Zarafa needs to lift his game if he's going to win this fight. Zarafa always going to be dangerous though. Right till the very last bell. Dangerous for the right hand. Tries a wild right hand for Zarafa. Went forward with that jab is Jeff Horn. Been very successful throwing the jab, but he's moving well. Good right hand. Let him go! Let him go! Let him go! Jeff Warren. Good catch from Zarafa. Break! He's 
See, now you're setting your shots up. The jab, See, the when you're working in close, Smith, you're hitting yeah, your throws. Right, that's what we want, up. not pot shot. Throwing it regularly. Bring the right hand. And throwing it right, with precision. Plenty of power on, on it as well. Once we hit him, we're not going to get sloppy without the fence. Lots of right. high lines from another good really work. good round. They're both Keep sat down on big shots. He doesn't like it, Mick. And bring up cutting close. Deep breaths, huh? Good work, Mick. He's got a great chin, Zarafa. Hey, you look at this sense. Hey, we're bringing it now. This is your time. Your work. Hey, concentrate, yes? This is all you, Mick. This is all you. He doesn't want to be there, Mick. Well, we get to see what these two boxes are made of. Yes, because we are now deep. Very, very tough one. The Raptors came out with determination on his face this round. Round seven. Slowing up, he needs to take over. This is where they expect to take over this second half of this fight. Where the weight and height, the, the, you know, the supposed bigger Michael Zarafa will take over. But Jeff Warner's acquitted himself well, so. Don't hold, boys! Come back! Come back, all of you! Right hand from right hand. Big right hand. He's got to stay in the shape to stay away from that. It's a wrap up. Got right through, but right. not flush in the second mist. The better signs for him as Horn just slows down slightly. Yeah, really going to 
Oh, 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 Sliding in, body head. You've got to be disciplined for three more rounds. Three more, and you've clearly it. got it. But don't. If he comes at you, you've got to move laterally. You go straight back. Don't do that. Okay. Right, right. No move. ropes. Stay on the gap. Different. One. Three Deep more breath. rounds. It's yours. We've got to go body, body head. Body, body head. head. Body head. Keep moving. Keep moving. Maintain that gap. Keep feigning. Keep on the box. Come on, mate. Okay. All the way, brother. Get hey, Mick, this is all you, man. Strong. You're outworking. He's hurt. Don't let him off, Mick. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Concentrate. Hey, we've got to put the foot to the gas. We can, we're going to stop him, Mick. Are we behind? Huh? All right, we're going to stop him. We want to knock him out. You're hurting him. You're hurting him, Put the pressure on. Hey, not once. Push and punch when you're in there. He doesn't want to be there when you throw him more than once. Roll him, Mick. You're hurting him. Don't close your distance. Push him off. You've got this, Mick. That was a massive hey, right hand from Jim when he's just let, Hey, push him off. Wasn't Don't it? let him hold you. He wants to rest in there. Roll big shot on all the time. Air grips. Two body rounds. Two Come rounds. On. Come on. Hold it again. Both corners willing their boxes. Yeah, on. They're, both, they're both dead in the water, I tell you. The two of them. Who can dig the deepest here? Michael's about to A couple of warriors indeed. Absolute warriors, the pair of them, Michael Zarafa and Jeff Horn, through eight right, rounds, right, right. 
Come back, come back, come on. Brutal battle. What is in store? Yeah. 
Sure, and hold it, let's go, come on. Back on his feet, back moving, but Zaraka knows what he needs to do. Oh, and looks for a big left hand. Oh, the jab from Horn's a big one. Let him go, step back, step back. Box.
have to think about the fact that he was gone. He was done and he was about to be stopped in round nine again. But he produced beyond a right hand from the gods. He just produces stuff beyond belief, Jeff Ward. He, 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 look, you know, there's great respect for the two of them. The sound of them hanging, it's good to see. Okay, oh, but now it is time for the scores. Even though you try that, not like who has won most, one of the most incredible boxing events we have ever seen in Australia. Here's Lieutenant Dan Hennessy to tell us which of these warriors has won. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, is that not the best title fight you have ever seen? After 10 rounds of professional championship middleweight boxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Francisco Martinez scores the vote 94-94, a draw. Judge Ferlin Marsh scores the contest 90-98, and Derek Milham scores the contest, 92-97. For your winner by majority decision, fighting out of the blue corner, Jeff Horn, I've said this to you before in this very situation, but how on earth did you just do that? <laughs> that's a big heart, that's all I can explain it. Uh, Mike was an absolute warrior. He proved it again tonight. He proved it definitely the first time against me. I knew I had to come in fit, really fit, and that's what I did tonight. The ninth round again, it's always the ninth round. You were gone. How did you find that right hand? It's my voodoo round, I know. I hate round nine. I wish we could do round eight, then round ten, and they just skip that. Yeah! Uh, I know I was hurting him, so that heart kept me going through that through that round, through that tough, tough times of the fight. They're the ones that matter, and they're the ones that make you a champion and able to make you get those wins. What do you put this down to? Because you came out a different champion. You came out throwing punches. You came out a lot more energetic than the first. Look, I just trained a bit hard. I didn't underestimate Nate Michael this time. I couldn't help when he stopped me the first time so impressively. But he's such a great I'm just going to enjoy Christmas, New Year's, have that time January off, and then come back next year a fresh, fresh man again. Playing with two microphones here, but we'll make it work. Um, uh, when you look back at the last couple of fights, there's been a lot of things said. Was the, the inspiration of some of those words, or was it just the loss in Bendigo that made you produce this? Oh, definitely. My, Michael definitely gave me a boost when he said that my achievements meant nothing and that um, I was an easy beat for him, that he's going to outbox me. I have no boxing IQ, so it does mean a lot this fight to get the win and... Hopefully I've got a little bit more respect from Michael now. We're not going to do this a third time, are we? <laughs> oh, you never know what happens in boxing, I guess, but uh, well, I guess I'll just leave that to my management. We'll go back and see what the op options are on the table. Okay, and finally, you know how special that performance was. You, you know what you've done here tonight. I've made a comeback. The Hornet's back. Hornet 2.0, we're all saying it. I'm back, guys. Okay, I think that this one is the right microphone. Michael Zarafa. Um, it was a different Jeff Horn tonight. 
Uh, look, yeah, no, he fought better. You know, I'm not going to have any excuses. He just is a better man on the night. Congratulations to Jeff and the team. He fought a smarter fight. Um, you know, this is boxing. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and make excuses. He was a better man on the night. Um, you know, there was no holes in my preparation. We did everything in the camp. Uh, he was just a better man on the night. And uh, to all these fans and all these supporters and all the people that come out and saw me, I love you all and I'll be back. Um, you know, there's no excuses. Um, you know, he was just a better man. So congratulations to Jeff and the team. This is boxing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to cop it and on the chin and go home and, and train hard and bounce back. I'm only 27 years old, so I've got plenty of time ahead of me. And uh, I just want to thank everyone to come out and show the love and support. Uh, it just wasn't my night tonight, but that's, that's all right, it's boxing. Pure class from you, Michael Zarafa, as we'd expect. That ninth round, you had him gone. Yeah, look, you know, the ref, I believe, robbed me, but that's all right. Jeff was the better man on the night. Um, you know, that's boxing. Uh, you know, he showed heart. He, won the, he was the better man tonight. So congratulations to Jeff and the team. This is boxing. Uh, you know, it's all talk, it's everything, but no excuses. Congratulations to Jeff and uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. <laughs> Now, I'm sure there'll be some calls for it. Do you want to do it again? 100%, we're one all. You know, let's get a green one down, you know. We're one each, let's get a third. A trilogy. And I know you paid tribute to him earlier tonight, but gee, one person who would have really enjoyed that was Dwight Ritchie. You know, I just want to apologise to, to Dwight up there, mate. You're an no, no, no. absolute legend, brother. This uh, fight was for you and I fell short, but... Uh, Mate, I wish you were here, mate. I wish you were here still. And uh, to everyone that came out and supported me, uh, you know, it just wasn't my night tonight. No excuses. And uh, I love you all. I love you all. And uh, thanks to Jeff for giving me the opportunity. This is boxing. And uh, I just want to thank everyone who showed their love. And uh, there's no excuses tonight. Jeff is just a better man. So congratulations to Jeff and the team. Congratulations, Michael Zarafa. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Wow, Barry, Michael, what a fight. I think somebody forgot to send uh, Michael, uh, sorry, somebody forgot to send um, Jeff Horn the script from Michael Zarafa because what happened there? He didn't read the script, that's for sure. What no. about